All right, guys, welcome to Adam Matt Collar TV. I'm Adam, I'm outside Old Trafford, where United have gone and done it again. Yes, it's the theater of draws. We've drawn again. It's our 10th home league draw of the campaign. 20 points dropped at home, 23 if you include that defeat against Manchester City. Shows you where our problems have lied this season. And Manchester United now, in my opinion, will not make the top four of the Premier League, which means it's all on the Europa League for Manchester United. We have to get through against Sao Vigo. We have to beat Ajax or Leon in the final to hope that we can get Champions League football for next year, unless, unless it's a miracle. Now, this is so, so frustrating. Yes, we had loads of injuries here today. Now, in my opinion, in my opinion, today, whilst we had a load of injuries, um, and whilst we drew the game and every game that we have drawn at home this season you think oh, United should have won that we played better it was a winning draw like we were the better side but this wasn't I felt Swansea deserved the point here minimum today Swansea deserved that and they got that today when Sir Gerdson stepped up for that free kick I just knew it was going in and Wayne Rooney what was he doing with that why, why give the foul away it was just clueless he didn't even go for the ball, he just jumped into the player, give a free kick away. Sigurdsson's in a great area, he popped it in the corner. And the Herrera tried to do what I do on FIFA when I know my mate's about to score a free kick, dipped back onto the back post, and then he had to go forward again because Sigurdsson didn't take it. And he stuck it right where and the Herrera was up was standing. So that was frustrating, but United deserved to concede that. We got our lead through a penalty in the first half, which I've heard shouldn't have been a penalty because Marcus Rashford died but I'm not sure because I sit in the back of the Stretford end so it's difficult for me to see from there so we got a penalty through a dive if it was a dive you know what I don't care the amount of decisions that I've gotten against us if it was a dive we got a penalty Marcus Rashford got the penalty Rooney bagged it Rooney scored it when I thought he was going to miss it and that was the best thing he did all game in my full-time Devils review after the match, I was getting criticised for saying Wayne Rooney didn't play well. People saying you're blaming Wayne Rooney. I'm not blaming Wayne Rooney for the result. I'm not blaming Wayne Rooney for Manchester United's below par performance. I'm blaming Wayne Rooney for his own performance. And his own performance, besides the penalty spot kick, wasn't good enough here today. That's all I'm saying. If you want me to say Wayne Rooney's played well, then tell Wayne Rooney to play well, and I will. Because when he plays well, I tell you he plays well. And when he doesn't, I tell you he doesn't. And when, when United play well, I tell you to play well. And when they don't, I tell you that they didn't play well. And today we didn't play well. We didn't deserve anything out of that game. A point was probably too much. And yeah, look, barring a miracle, we can still get into top four, but it's over, man. Top four is gone for me now. And moving on from here, where do we go? Look. It's easy to get over the top and carried away. I'm still confident in Jose Mourinho. I look at this two ways. Short-term plan is it's not going well. We're not in the top four in the league and it's not looking good for finishing in the top four, but we're going strong in the Europa League. But with all those injuries, can we be confident in there anymore? And then there's also a long-term plan. I'm confident under Jose that he's getting us going in the right direction in the long term. We broke a club record for an unbeaten league run in one campaign today with 25 games unbeaten in one league campaign. That's a record. So that shows you that we've got something we can build on. Our performances, apart from today, at home have generally been good. So it shows you we've got something to build on. Just take our chances, we get more points at home, we challenge for the league. It sounds quite simple. So going into the summer, I think Jose Mourinho will have an easier job than he did coming into the job last season. But without Champions League football, it's going to be made super difficult. We need Champions League football. It's so, so important. That, and that's why I'm really disappointed coming out of here today because anything can happen in a cup competition. And if we don't have Champions League football next season and we have Europa League football, that's going to be dreadful because I'm afraid we'll see the same things that we're seeing here. Teams that are just injured all over the place, left, right and centre because you're playing Thursday, Sunday. Squads and league games getting moved around all over the place and then... You get lethargic performances like this because you're kicking off at 12 p.m. We can't be in the Europa League next season. We have to be playing Wednesday, Saturday or Wednesday, Sunday. Can't be Thursday, Sunday again, man. But as I said, that wasn't the excuse for the result today. The excuse for the result was United simply weren't good enough. Guys, I've been Adam McCullough. This has been Adam McCullough TV. Make sure you like, comment and share. Subscribe to the channel as well. I'm out of here.